Hi, everybody. So, <sighs> where have I been? Uh, as you can see, I look a little different than I have in my previous videos. And I am really just in the process of finding myself this year. My divorce was finalized in October of last year, of 2021. And so this whole year has just been finding myself. What I thought we could talk about today is my weight loss surgery. And it has been six months since I had my weight loss surgery. Like, wow. Like, what? Like, how has time gone so fast? And I think it's been almost eight months since I started my YouTube channel. And those first videos where. <laughs> I looked, I looked so unhappy with myself and I'm starting to fall in love with myself. And I, I really, that is something that I've never felt before. I've never, I've never truly honestly loved who I am until this year. Let's go ahead and let's just recap the last six months of my weight loss and, um, things that happened after the surgery that I didn't realize and things that I wished I'd known. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the, um, the number one question that I'm pretty sure anybody who's watching this video is going to want to know is how much weight have I lost in the first six months since my BSG surgery? And the answer is 50 pounds. I have lost 50 pounds since my VSG surgery in the first six months, which seems pretty slow as far as like how much weight people lose. But the fact is I started a lot, I wouldn't say smaller. I didn't have as much to lose as some people that you see lose these big amounts of weight after their surgery. I have a good 100 pounds to lose, so I am pretty much halfway to my goal just to be healthy and not overweight anymore by our society standards, um, by the BMI standards. So I am halfway there and it's been six months, so I'm like stoked about that. It has not been an easy journey. It has not this weight loss surgery was not like a magic wand, like poof, you're thin. Um, Cause obviously I'm not thin. I, I'm a lot thinner than I was when I had the surgery. And I, as I was preparing for this video, I went back and looked through like some of the photos that I had on my phone and it is crazy to me. My face was so full. And like, while yes, I still have a little bit of a double chin and my cheeks are still full. It's my face is always the first place that I show weight gain. It's been kind of rewarding because it's also the first place that I lose weight. So yes, I have lost 50 pounds. I am officially in Wonderland. I started my weight loss journey um, with this whole process at 250.2. And I last weighed in at, I'm gonna put it on the screen for sure, but I believe it was 198.8. That is what I last weighed in at, which gives us a grand total of, I'm gonna do the math. It's like 50 or 51 pounds. It'll be right here after I edit this video. You guys will be able to see exactly how much I've lost. I'm so proud of myself. Um, there have been some challenges and there have been days where I haven't been able to keep food down. It has not been an easy journey at all. There have been stalls where I, weeks where I've gone weeks and weeks and weeks without any weight loss whatsoever. And then the weight loss starts. It has been a very bumpy road to this weight loss. And so let's go ahead and dive into a few of those challenges that I had during this process, starting with my three week stall. This is something that pretty much everybody from what I've read online and my support groups, 
almost everybody goes through this. Around three weeks after your weight loss surgery, most people go through a stall period where their weight just stays the same. Like you're used to like losing weight every day a little bit. And then at three weeks or just before three weeks or just after three weeks, it just stops and you're in sheer panic goes through you. I remember talking to one of my coworkers who had had the surgery about six, no, I guess she had it like three months before me. And I, I've said the same thing that most everybody says is, what if I'm the one person in the world that this surgery doesn't work for and I don't lose weight? Like, what if I've lost all the weight I'm gonna lose and it's only been three weeks? Like. Why did I go through all this stress just for the weight that I've lost in these three weeks? And I, I promise you that is like the most normal thing to think when that happens. But I also promise you that it is a 99.9% .9 chance to be untrue. <laughs> Can't remember when I broke through my stall. I want to say it was about week five. So to six so it was like I had like a three week period where I didn't lose any weight and I was panicking man I was panicking I thought I thought I'm gonna be another this is just another thing that I failed at I can't do anything right and like all of those negative self-talk behaviors around losing weight I was saying them so so yeah weeks around week three it sucks Another thing that has been a struggle bus for me was, or is really, my protein intake. And I still struggle with it because I've never been the type of person to like meat. I don't know why, I just don't. I have always really liked carbs and we're not supposed to have very many carbs after you have the surgery. But I will be honest, I still eat carbs, I still eat, you know, I still eat junk food. Like I, I mean, my diet has shifted quite considerably, but I still eat food that I like um, because with my binge eating that I have suffered from for my entire life, if I feel the least bit restricted, I just go off the deep end and that can't happen with this because I'll make myself sick. So if I want something, I will usually have it when I'm hungry and I stop eating when I'm not hungry anymore. And that has been the biggest gift of this surgery is before I had the surgery, I had I had so much issue with emotional eating and binge eating that I couldn't recognize the signs of when my body was full. I just, I couldn't recognize it. So I would eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and I wouldn't know when to stop or when I should stop. Um, and that has been the biggest gift of this surgery is I'm now able to recognize when I'm full and I can make the decision to stop eating. So that has been really the most freeing part of this whole journey. What I do want to mention is the hair loss and if you are thinking about this surgery or if you have this surgery scheduled, wherever you're at on this journey for gastric surgery of some sort, you have probably heard that people lose, lose hair after the surgery and it seems to be hit or miss. Some people do, some people don't. I happen to know that I was going to before I even had this journey. And I knew that because once upon a time, I was a flight attendant for American Airlines. And this was during the period of time where their uniforms had really toxic chemicals in them. I can do a story time on this later if you're interested. Long story short, tail <laughs> Um, Long story short, I ended up going bald. I had alopecia areata on like the back here of my scalp and I had this big chunk of hair and I'll put a little picture right here. I had this big chunk of hair that I lost and this was back in 2019. This was right before the pandemic. And because my body reacts to stressors like that, it just loses its hair. So because of that situation and my 
my body's aptitude to losing hair, I just knew I was gonna have hair loss issues. And sure enough, I have. So it has been very disconcerting to be washing my hair. And I don't know if you can see it, I just pulled out hair again. Um, it's like every time, almost every time that I run my hands through my hair, I can pull out strands and it's it's pretty disconcerting especially when you're washing your hair in the shower and able to pull literal clumps out of your hair and that is what I'm able to do when I brush my hair I have to clean my hairbrush probably two or three times just from brushing my hair so the hair loss has been fun I would say my hair loss started probably in June so that's um, April, May, June. I would say it probably started around three months post-op and it is still going strong. I'm not too terribly worried about it because at the end of the day, it's gonna grow back. If I have to cut my hair short, I'll cut my hair short because at the end of the day, I'd rather like struggle with my hair than struggle with my weight. What I thought would be fun is to do some before and after photos so you guys can see a really good image of like what I looked like before I had the surgery and you know my, my transition as I lost weight through this journey up until today. Can you believe like what I used to look like versus what I look like now? I feel like mentally there's like not that much of a difference but like there's a difference. Like, I'm not crazy, right guys? Like, there's a difference. Like, I definitely look thinner. And I'm just so excited to, like, keep going on this journey. And I have not yet started working out. It has been, like, in the back of my head, like, you should get back in the gym or you should use your spin bike. But I'm not there yet. My life has been way too insane. So hopefully once Christmas like comes and goes and like the start of the new year, like work will slow down a little bit and like the rest of my life will slow down a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> well, I'm dying to get back in the gym and start weightlifting. Years and years ago, I was like super fond of weightlifting. So that is kind of where my heart is pulling me to, but I'm not, I'm not quite there mentally yet. So yeah, I really hope this video was helpful for somebody if you're looking at BSG surgery or some kind of bariatric surgery in general. I went to Mexico for it and I survived. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit subscribe as well. It really helps my channel grow. And I will be back with another video on Saturday for you guys. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it up to me